Okay. Hello, artsy peeps, and welcome to the June art vlog. You guys are going to be joining me today in drawing um, or a sneak peek of a children's book that I am currently uh, working on right now, so you guys will have the chance to see what I am doing. Also, near the end of the video, you guys will be joining my partner and I to a very artsy city. And this video will be uh, part one of two, just because we did record um, a lot of footage. <laughs> so the video would have ended up being like probably like 40 minutes to an hour. So you guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alrighty, so for those of you that don't know what I am doing or working on right now, I am currently working on a children's book, like I said in the intro. Um, so this book is um, about a girl who has to make a delicious decision. That's going to be the name of the book. So Lula's Delicious Decision. And basically she goes to a cafe for the first time. And she goes there and is just overwhelmed by all the treats and desserts and is just excited to be there. Well, when she gets the menu, she becomes very overwhelmed as to which drink she is going to order or which drink she is going to buy. So then her parents um, explain the menu to her and... Um, while they're explaining the menu to her, she's creating these imag imaginative images in her head. Each of those scenes um, will be with like certain characters of the book. So for instance, you guys saw or are looking at like a little bear plushy. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll be like, again, certain characters um, associated with each drink. So, um, as her parents are reading off the types of drinks to her, she is again creating these images in her head of the drink. And also all of these drinks that I am making are going to be available as stickers and they're actually available right now in my Redbubble shop. Um, I'm hoping being that sometime or somewhere down the line that I will create my own sticker shop outside of Redbubble. Uh, Redbubble just takes a very big cut. <laughs> so um, eventually I'll look into that. Um, so this story is actually inspired um, by my niece <laughs> and it was a little surprise for her her one year birthday but yeah this is like later down the line that I made the book around the age when she's around like five or six years old <laughs> drinking bubble tea so uh, hopefully when she gets older she'll uh, enjoy bubble tea just as much as I do and um, and uh, all that good stuff so um, when the release date is going to be for this book um, I'm Again, I was kind of shooting for the end of June of this year, which is 2024. Um, but I was not able to accomplish that. Um, again, I have a full-time job, so it's just hard to find time to make a book when you have a full-time job. But I am really working on my schedule and taking advantage of float time and stuff. So um, it's giving me the time to be able to work on the book. But again, the goal is to eventually go part-time and then be a full-time artist. So that's the dream and that's the goal. During, while I was making this book, um, I was playing with the materials a little bit in Clip Studio because that's the program that I'm using to make this book. And I've been really enjoying the gouache tool. <laughs> um, so I was thinking to myself, you know, when I start doing like um, paintings again, I might try my hand at uh, gouache and see what that's all about. So 
Um, I really enjoyed putting certain elements with each of the characters. So like for instance, right now you're looking at the, the tarot turtle, <laughs> tarot turtle, and I made these little uh, mochi candies and kind of gave them a very a kind of a galactic look to it but also um, for each of these little bubble tea drawings I added like a certain complementary color to them um, so like with the berry the berry strawberry you saw like a little bit of like a blue element in there with that Japanese with the little Japanese candy uh, for this one I'm adding like yellows with the purple which is the complementary color so but <clears throat> I thought it was really cool elements of adding certain candies and treats um, I thought that was something that would be a really fun element for kids to uh, look at uh, my big goal for this book is to when I finish the book once it gets or once it's in that process of being published, I would like to do like a pre, like a pre-order, pre-sale with this book. And then for the release date, um, I plan on like emailing a couple of cafes or just like kids boutiques to see if they would be interesting, interested in taking a free sample of this book. And then up to the shop owner, if they want to order a bulk of this book or if like a customer is reading the book I will put the QR code in that sleeve or in the book so that if a customer enjoys the book that they can scan that QR and it takes them directly to where you can buy the book. Yeah, these were again so much fun to just draw and to add these little characters I think it just gave it just that cuteness to it so um, and I tried to <clears throat> make each bubble tea just a little bit different like the milk dripping down or the matcha kind of getting stuck to the side of the cup or just little things here and there. <laughs> um, also, I accidentally started to draw the wrong character. I was started drawing a bunny instead of a, a cow. Um, but I kind of went back into this cow a little bit so he didn't look like a, a yak <laughs> or a goat. Um, I made him look more like a, like a cow. And um, one of my favorite parts about this little character is that I added like a whisk tail like a little matcha whisk tail to him and I thought that was a really cool element. Um, so yeah, without further ado, um, I will go ahead and let you guys enjoy the little art vlog of us going to um, Savannah, Georgia. So enjoy! When you're exiting Jacksonville, this is such a cool bridge to cross over. Highly recommend going over it. For us, it takes about two and a half hours to get to Savannah, Georgia. And both my partner and I have not visited uh, Savannah, Georgia ever. So we wanted to take the opportunity on our anniversary, our two year anniversary, to come to Savannah, Georgia, which we heard was a very big art community. Of course, as I was driving through, or my partner and I were driving through, just the scenery and everything was just in awe. So I was definitely very excited to go out and explore.
the Airbnb that we stayed in was actually a, um, I guess where they used to have the horses. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it was actually a family friend that told us that little known fact. It was definitely very cozy and warm and definitely gave my partner and I some ideas for renovating the condo that we currently live in now. We arrived around, I think it was around 6 p.m. And of course, because we are in a town known for paranormal activity and ghosts, I had my little ghost purse and my partner had his, uh, I think it was the hash slinging slasher from SpongeBob. After being on the road, both my partner and I, we were ready to go get some dinner. And that was also a thing that I heard about Savannah, Georgia, was not only for the art community, but also there was really, really great food there, which I do agree with that. All of the restaurants that we went to were absolutely fabulous. So in the video, I will be sharing all of the restaurants that we went to. But of course, anywhere that my partner and I travel to, um, the big priority is definitely checking out the art. What I would eventually like to do when I have a big enough inventory in art is maybe travel around and do like judicated shows or art fairs in markets. Just a little dream of mine that I would like to have happen someday. But also it gives us a reason to travel together and try out different states and um, explore. One must simply get some ice cream or some gelato after having a meal, a full belly, very full belly, but you always got to save a little bit of room for ice cream. All the places that I visit here in Savannah, Georgia, I will put um, the places down in the description down below with their links. The ice cream is so good there that we were a little bit limited on to which ice cream to get, but you can never go wrong with s'mores. I was absolutely excited to explore Savannah. Just all of the parks there are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, you can't see it. There's a little statue of David up there. <laughs> Just all the trees there and just the lushness of everything. <laughs> I don't even know if that's word, but just how the sun was just beaming through the trees. And when we had a couple days where it did, you know, kind of drizzle a little bit on us, it wasn't too bad. But just the smell and just the after rain. And the only downfall about it is that it did get a little muggy. <laughs> Um, but we still absolutely enjoyed ourselves and, you know, stay hydrated, of course. We did not do the trolley um, just because our Airbnb was literally right smack dab in the middle of everything. So every everywhere we went was just walking distance. 
but um, maybe next time when I go, I'll take the trolley just to learn a little bit more about the history and just the architect of all the buildings. God, all the restaurants over here look Great. amazing. Great. Great. It's a trolley. I am an absolute sucker for fashion <laughs> and I always like to dress the parts of the city. So I went with a very Savannah uh, witchy type of look. The first gallery on our stop was the A.T. Hun gallery, which I could totally envision my art being in this gallery. If I had thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, I would probably buy every single painting in there. <laughs> I absolutely fell in love with the little dog painting here because it reminded me of uh, my dog Moxie who passed away back in 2020, but she was my little soul dog. But, um, you know, I might look into maybe buying that painting. <laughs> I love these. It was really cool to see that there were art galleries on top as well, so we just had to do more exploring, of course. I had the chance to talk to a couple of the artists upstairs, believe it or not, and there was one artist I was able to show um, my artwork to. Um, they actually asked, I, I didn't even ask them to like, hey, look at my artwork and stuff. We just kind of got talking and she's like, are you an artist too? Um, and I said, I am. She said, I would love to check out your stuff. So, you know, it was neat seeing like all of her work and, and studio um, work and she just rented out the studio and of course I jokingly <laughs> uh, was um, imagining that the studio across from her was my studio but um, yeah that's a little bit later down the line. Um, for some galleries, they'll post a sign outside their door that says you can't uh, take pictures and stuff. Um, so for some footage, I didn't really take too many videos and stuff, just out of respect. Pralines! <laughs> you get your dad some pralines? All artists should travel, even if it's just a day trip or just a weekend getaway. Each environment you visit is gonna be just a little bit different. Just the smells, the taste, uh, the experience of everything. Like how shades of green or pink can read differently than maybe back in your hometown or back where you live. The people that you meet and interact with all of those experiences can create new inspiration and ideas. Also, for artists, maybe even after working on a big project, 
to just be able to just go on vacation and just relax and just like I said just taking in those new experiences and just seeing things with a different eye and just how colors and shapes and how things are or how people interact with each other in that environment Every now and then I'll see like a little Easter egg or like a gate that goes to like a secret garden and that was really something that excited me and got me inspired to paint or to come up with a new idea for a painting. All right, artsy peeps, this is going to wrap up part one of two. So you guys stay tuned for that. Um, I recently just opened up a print shop where you can buy quality prints, and I will leave a link in the description down below for that shop. All right, I'll see you artsy peeps next time. Take care. <laughs>